Okay, this is uh, the Cabo River down below. And this was the site of uh, Alabama a few and Iron Company's Overton Number 2 Coal Slope Mine. And this right here is uh, the Man and Materials Way, or commonly referred as the Man Way. And it was a concrete line Man Way uh, built in 1921. You can still see the steps right here. And this is where the miners and uh, they would even take the mules down in this way to stay off the uh, main slope. But uh, anyway, uh, it's on private property and uh, permission of the owner to come up here and visit with visit the mine site. So you can't just come up here without permission. So, so you get the river right there and the uh, slope mine portal is just on the other side of those trees and uh, there was a uh, I think it was a steel tipple going right across the river and there's the range of a water cistern and just up there was the end of the spur line of the Central and Georgia Railroad or Railway and back over there was the uh, hoist house coal washing complex but I'm not sure if they had a separate little bridge which I think they probably did they probably had a footbridge right here for the miners and the mules. Not sure where the stables would have been, probably somewhere back over the ridge line there, maybe. But anyway, it's a nice piece of history. Not very many people can say that they've got a concrete line portal, coal mine portal on their property above the above the Cabo River. Very rare. So Anyway, you can see it says 1921, but like I said, this is private property and with the permission of the uh, owner, I was able to come out here and take a look at the mine site. Okay, so we've got the Cava River down here. The Man and Materials Way concrete line entrance is just over there. Got some stone stacked rock wall remains. And right down there are the two, there's two concrete support pillars for the trestle. Uh, might be some more on the other side, but there's a something concrete over there. But the tipple went out over the river and uh, the loading platform for the railroad was up there. Somewhere over there was the coal washer. And uh, the central of Georgia rail bed is just over there. So the whole mine complex was on the other side along with the hoist house, compressor house, boiler house, or power plant. So the uh, mine cars came across the steel tip and it went straight into over to number two slope mine right here which as I said before this is on private property just can't come up here without uh, permission so anyway with the owner's permission is able to come up here and view it take some photos and some videos so anyway very historic uh, December 1925 they had a massive explosion here I think it was a at least 50 plus miners killed, numerous injured. There's a couple of uh, old newspaper photos showing people gathered all around this portal right here. Some of the mine cars coming out as they were carrying the dead out to take them across the tipple. But uh, anyway, this went all the way underneath these ridges right here. And way up above over that ridge line, probably back about a good half a mile or more, is the Overton Number One mine. And that mine, working on a different seam, actually its slope went up underneath the Cabo River, somewhere down there. And so the Overton Number One slope mine went underneath the Cabo River, and actually some parts of it were underneath this mine. 
So, very ingenious. Asked me if they had a lot of water problems in these mines. Yes, they did. But this is a fantastic piece of uh, coal mining history in the Birmingham district right here. So, you can see safety first in 19, 1921. Over to number two.